Okay, we're going to do a bit of knife sharpening. I'll try and keep it very simple. Uh, so this is um, water stones, Japanese water stones. You can use oil stones, but in the field it's, it's probably easier to use water stones than, than oil stones. And you've got uh, a range of grit, so 800, 1200, and that's 6000, and that's a little Nagura stone to, to polish it. So first things first is you soak the stones, like so. I, I don't soak this 6000 because it'll disintegrate probably, so just soak the two main stones. About 10 minutes, um, just let it, let it soak in there. And uh, you need a workbench, get it off the, the, the ground. You, you don't want any dirt around your knife or, or your stones, keep, keep it clean. So, so have, a, have a natural workbench, nice and flat. And then we just wait for them to soak for 10 minutes. Okie dokie, so I'm going to just take out the first stone and this is, like I say, 800. Uh, I got these from Axminster Power Tool Centre, I think, in Devon. And these, I would say these, if you're going to buy, put any money in, buy, buy some nice sharpening stones. Because um, you, you want a nice nice sharp blade or you're going to have problems. Keep it, keep it nice and wet. And then when you start you lay the metal down, the steel down, be behind it and you, you turn it till it bites. You, you, you actually feel and hear it bite. As soon as it bites on that angle, you push. And go, and go as slow as you want. Some of the sharpest knives I've seen are from people who taking the care to, to do it slowly you don't, don't have to rush and I usually do about five to eight strokes one way and then you turn and come the other way just watch this hand that you, that you don't actually cut yourself Again, it's uh, quality more than quantity, so just get the actual action right. And wh what you can do if you're starting out is colour this this angle here along the blade. Just just fill it in with a with a felt tip, uh, and then you know that it's being rubbed away. So once you've done the same amount. Go on to the next stone, which is a 1,200. If you feel your your blade is is blunt, if you look down it with a microscope, it'll probably look like that. Um, so by sharpening, you're you're getting the blade more sharper. <laughs> you're taking off very small particles of metal, but it, by increasing the fineness of the stone from 800, 1,200 and then 6,000, you're just making a sharper, sharper blade. So, and it, it depends, um, you know, how blunt your, your knife is. If you've done a lot of work on it, you, on dead wood, on oak, say, uh, you might have a blunt knife, but if you're using just green wood um, all day long, it, it might not get blunt much at all so so yeah five to eight both directions and you just lift this hand up just so you actually get this angle here yeah so once you've done that you move on to this stone this is a clamp I, I don't always use it but you know it, it's handy handy to have so keep that nice and wet 
and this is a Nagura stone and you, and you use that to polish and you don't want to soak that, I, I don't soak that, just, just keep it clean and again this finer grit will really do the job And you'll find your crafts will improve if you've got a sharp knife. Often you, you check people's knives and they're not sharp and that's why they're having a, having a job of it. But if you can keep, keep your knife in good condition, it's uh, half the job really. Don't be, don't be put off by um, all these knife collectors and flashy knives. It's not, it's not necessary. It, it, it's just knowing the tool and um, taking care of it. It's like anything, it needs maintenance. So look after it, keep it clean, keep it well sharpened, and it, they last for years. And, and what I think is, you know, you may as well be practicing on a cheaper knife, make your mistakes on a cheaper knife, you know, the carving. So then if you do nick it or damage it, you haven't wasted hundreds of pounds and also your, your skill level will improve. Uh, and then if you want to, fancy a knife, you know, treat yourself or <laughs> get someone else to buy it for you. <laughs> Alright, I'm happy with that because, um, you know, that, that's not too bad. But I still need to do one more thing and that's strop it. So I'm going to go over and strop it on this strap. So I'm going to do the final bit of the knife sharpening and this is a uh, stropping, this is a, a strop, it's actually uh, my boyfriend's, uh, one of my boyfriend's guitar straps, you don't know I've got it <laughs> yet, but yeah it's ideal for stropping. So what I'm doing is running the knife down the inside of the piece of leather. And I'm going to do this about 50 times. Again, it's just making the actual blade that much more sharper. Just, just takes that little burr off if there is one. Okay, I'm happy with that. And there we have, sharp knife. And this will last quite a few years, so I won't be after any more guitar straps. <laughs> you can use a leather belt. If you're wearing a leather belt, that, that, you can use the inside of that. That works, that works well. But yeah, that, that does the job.